In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about product variants in Odoo. So we're going to go to our inventory app. In order to enable product variants, you need to go to configuration settings. And you're going to look for the variant setting. If you scroll down under products, you'll see variants. And then once you activate it, when you go and select products, you'll see product variants under our products. So in Odoo, we have products and product variants. The difference between the two is pretty straightforward. Our product are the templates that make up our variants. So if you look on the top, you'll see in our URL, we have the model is equal to product.template. This essentially gives us the recipe in order to make the variant. Even though we can enable variants, if you have it disabled, every single product template that you create has a corresponding product variant. So when you use products throughout the system, you're actually using the product variant. However, in multiple places, if you don't have variants enabled, you can simply select the product template, but the system knows to use the product variant. So a product variant uses the product template recipe in order to create the individual product that's associated with that template. The product template holds high level information where the product variant holds specific information that is related only to that variant. If we go into our product variants, you see the model changes on top to product.product. .product, and this is the individual product that I speak about. Now, if we go into configurations and we scroll down to attributes, we'll see all of our different attributes associated with our product variants. So if you want to have different attributes for your variants, such as size or color, you'd come into attributes and create new ones. So I'm going to create a new one and we're going to call it size. We have a few different display types and this is relevant to the product configurator or the e-commerce website. I'll show you what this looks like. On the website, we have radio, which is a radio box like these. We have uh, pills, which essentially is a selection box that's side to side where you can select um, which attribute you want or attribute value. You have a select box, which is essentially a drop down menu of many different items. And then we have color. Color is going to be a hex or RGB code that allows you to set a color on a particular attribute so you can select from a swatches of color. We have our variant creation mode which is a little bit uh, more difficult to understand. We have three different options instantly, dynamically, and never. Instantly creates a variant for, ev for every product or every value that you add to a product template. So if you have size and you have three sizes this is going to create three different product variants for your product template if you have dynamically then these variants only get created when used inside of a sales order or purchase order and then we have never which never creates the specific product variant and there's different use cases for each the most common use case is instantly so we create all the different options as soon as we create them or as soon as soon as we add them to a product template they instantly get created as product variants in that product that product model that I showed you dynamically is useful when you have a lot of different options but only a few of them are used throughout your system so let's say you're selling maybe um, some type of custom product where you have many different attributes but maybe you only sell 10 that are really important and, and you know the other ones are options but you don't use them that often maybe you have them created as dynamically so they're only created and taking up room in your system when someone buys it or, or when you need to buy it from a vendor or if you sell it to someone we also have never option so if you're not keeping track of that item um, or a particular attribute then you can use the never option so if you have maybe some custom values that you don't need to create new products every time someone enters a different value, or maybe you just don't want to keep track of that inventory. Let's say you have shirts 
and you don't necessarily care care about the size but you do care about the color you can have size as never and then that will never be created and you'll just keep track of the different colors you have so we'll create the first one with size we'll leave it as instantly keep in mind once you create something and you have the variant creation mode set you can no longer edit this we have the e-commerce filter visibility this is just essentially tells the system whether or not you want to use this as a default filter when you're filtering through products on the e-commerce website. So now we have size, we can add some values. We'll add small, medium, and large. On the right here we have is custom value. So if we drag that over a little bit you'll see is custom value. If you select this then you'll be able to enter a custom value for this particular attribute value. So if I had a, a, third, a fourth one here that just said custom or user defined and you selected is custom value, you will be able to fill in a text box with the value that you want to represent. And this is good um, in conjunction with the never variant creation mode or even um, in instantly where you might have several colors that you usually offer but maybe the last color is a custom color and you allow your uh, users on maybe your website or when you're creating a sales order to pick any color they want and then you'll make the order custom to the color that they choose so we're gonna leave small medium and large right here and we're gonna go ahead and go into our products and we're gonna create a new product template and this is going to be a t-shirt we're going to have it as a storable product and we're going to go to attributes and variants and now we can add size and we can add all of our different values here we have small medium and large and now because we have this as instantly created you'll see as soon as i save this three variants will be created for our t-shirt so let's save that product as you see in this smart button up here three variants were created so these three variants are related to our product template t-shirt. So now we have t-shirt size small, t-shirt size medium, and t-shirt size large. If we go into our product variants and we'll search t-shirt, we'll see our three options, small, medium, and large. If we click into them, we see some specific information related to this particular size small. We have the cost price. We can set, um, you know, different cost price, the barcode, internal reference, etc. Keep in mind that the sales price is actually set on the product template. You can also use price lists to set specific product prices per variant, or you can use this extra price feature up here. So if we click into extra price, we see that the T-shirt small can have a different unit price. We might call, say this one is $10. And we might have a different price for our medium t-shirt. Let's say that this is $15. And our large shirt will be $20. and this is utilizing price lists. If we go to back to our product template, so our t-shirt product template, we can go to extra prices and you see all of our extra prices right here. We can click into our variants from here. This gives us a small overview of our different variants and once we click into them, you can see the volume, weight, internal reference, barcode, and cost price. If you have other options such as packaging or um, media, you can add the media here as well. Now let's see what, we, what happens when we add them to a sales order.
So we can add the t-shirt there just as we just did. This is the product our product model that it's pulling from. Now if we go back to our inventory and we look at our t-shirt once again, we can view it on our website. So we'll go to website and you see we have the radio button small, medium and large. Now if we go back to our attributes, so I'll open up a new tab here so we can toggle back and forth more quickly. We can go to configurations, attributes and we'll change this size to pills and refresh our website. And now you see pills. These are what pills are. So we have small, medium, large. Now we can change this to a select box. And we'll see that it's just a simple drop down menu. We can select from different menu items small, medium, large. So now let's create color. We'll just create a new one that says color. We'll say that we're going to use the color. We're going to say a variant creation mode is instantly. And we'll add different values here. We'll say red, blue, white. And we can select the color. We'll make this red. We'll make this blue and we'll keep this as white. We're gonna add one more value. We're gonna say custom and we're gonna select this is custom value here and we'll save. Now we're gonna add this to our product variants. So our product template, I'm sorry. So now we're gonna go into our t-shirt and we're gonna go into our attribute variants and we're going to add color here. But before we add color, I want to make uh, well, actually, let's just add color first and then we'll go over the next part. So we're going to add color, red, blue, white, custom. And now because I have this as instantly created, as soon as I save this, we're going to now create more variants. And the total variants is going to be the three times four, so 12 different variants once I save this. We'll see we have 12 different variants up here. So we'll have a small red, small blue, small white, small custom, medium red, medium blue, and so on. If I click into our 12 variants, we see all of our different variants listed below. If we refresh our website, we'll see we have a select box for the size, and then we have our color attributes. We have red, blue, white, and this last color here, once we select it, it's a custom value and the system allows us to enter a value. So we might say purple. And purple is now something we offer to our customers as a custom value. So now we have all that set up. Let's refresh this t-shirt page because it's outdated now. Our 12 variants. If we decide that we want to no longer sell a particular combination. So we don't want to sell medium red shirts. We may select this and click archive or some people may want to delete this. So I suggest to archive it instead of deleting it because it would be more difficult to get back if we delete it. So if we decide that we no longer want to have this in our stock, we can archive this product and now we no longer will see that option. So once I try to select that in the website, if I do a medium red shirt and add this to the cart, it's my, oh, sorry, medium, this combination does not exist. So medium red does not exist. If we add specific media to this one combination, so if we add a picture here or extra variant media, this will only be uh, reflected for this product. So when they select this 
particular combination that is the image that will appear on your e-commerce website. The next thing I want to show you is, to keep in mind is that since we archived one of these attributes, if we decided to add one more combination, let's say that we go into our attributes and now we're going to say we have size color maybe we'll say um, type maybe it's a long sleeve or short sleeve we'll do pills we'll say long sleeve short sleeve we'll save that We'll go to product variant or product templates. We'll look at our t-shirt and we're going to add our type. Now if we decide after the fact to add a type, we're actually going to be regenerating all these variants and the information associated with these variants are going to be lost. And the reason for that is that you're essentially creating new product.products. The system didn't know once we add these types, so we're going to add long sleeve and short sleeve. This is now a new product. These combinations didn't exist before. And it's because we're adding a type, it's going to regenerate all of these variants. So once I save this, we're actually going to have 24 variants. And all of those were regenerated. And again, that's because the system has no way of knowing how to tie all of this information together now that we've added a new type so it recreates them from scratch and that's why you'll lose the information associated with them so it's important to plan out your variants ahead of time so now again if we refresh our website you'll know now be able to select the type short sleeve long sleeve color and size we did set prices for these, but again, since we've regenerated all those variants, all of those prices were lost because this is essentially a new product that product. That is essentially everything you need to know about product attributes. Please let me know if you have any questions.